Hello, it's Mechanic Link. And today we're going to be looking at a 2007 Jeep Liberty with a 3.7 liter engine. And we're going to be venturing into new territory most mechanics are usually a little scared to get into. Let's rebuild this ignition switch actuator pin. This is our lock cylinder. And on the other side is our ignition switch. In between is the ignition switch actuator pin. I'm going to be honest with you. I do not know what these parts are actually called. So I'm just going to be making it up as I go. This here is the actual pin, and I'm going to call this the pin support. We're going to take the broad end of our pin, and we're going to insert it into the support like so. You're going to need to angle the pin away from the support so you can squeeze in the medium-sized spring. A little bit of wiggling and a flathead screwdriver, this is what it should look like. We're going to take the smallest spring and put it on this latch. It'll slide on nice and easy, just like that. This flange right here should seat in here, and this flange here should seat in this valley here. You'll need to slide it at this angle with the spring held by a plastic tab and slip it down into the plastic body like so. This part has two functions and acts like a tumbler. It will enter the plastic frame underneath with the pin facing down. The tumbler will then lock in place. Next we're going to insert the pin and you're going to need to rotate it to get it flush. This is what it should look like so far. Next we have the aluminum body. This little key bit is going to be shaped like an L. You need to take it and there's going to be a slot for that key to sit in. Finally, we take our largest spring and we seat it here. Notice the tumbler pin is inside that spring and we're going to close it up tight. You're going to need to hold it together while you bolt in here and here up to the steering column. Just like that. Install your ignition switch. Install the lock cylinder. Yes! 